Well, hello and welcome to Vlogsgiving Day Dose. Today is Tuesday and I just got home from work. It's been like a really, really late day and I was discussing politics with my father on the phone on the way home. So you can imagine how that went. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about politics because that's just not what this channel is about. I am gonna show you how I make, well, not how I make my taco dip, but like I'm gonna prep my food for the taco dip because I am bringing that tomorrow for our potluck. Actually, I had to stop at the dollar store on my way home because I needed something for like the chips to go in and then also I needed like a little platter so I got this as well. I didn't want to bring like my nice stuff with me like my nicer things because if it breaks it was only a dollar. So I'm gonna wash all that stuff up and uh, get that stuff ready to go for tomorrow but um, I need to prep a bunch of stuff. So I think I'm gonna ground, well not ground my turkey, the turkey is already ground. Um, I had this in the freezer, so I thawed that out, and then I also had some turkey as well. So I figured I'm gonna do all of this because I'm gonna do another taco dip actually on Thanksgiving, which I talked about yesterday. So I'm just gonna brown up all my meat and just like have it ready to go. That's really the only like cooking thing I need to do. Um, everything else is just like washing up things and cutting things and putting them in a container and that's about it. So I think I'm gonna cut up and prep everything tonight if I possibly can and then just go from there. So, so I'm gonna put you guys down. Somehow I'm gonna like show you guys what I'm doing. I think I might just like do check-ins because it's kind of a lot and I only have two hands and I kind of need my two hands to get this thing done. Um, I also need olives, which are right here. Pull those out. And then I have a donkey load. New term. A donkey load of tomatoes. Let me show you. Yep, that's what we like to call a donkey load. Yep, donkey. So that's my donkey load. I need to actually um, wash those up and then cut them and you know do all that, do all that good stuff. So I am just trying to find all the containers I need. I really like these, by the way. If I can find them on like Amazon or something, I'll link them below. Systema, I think is how you say it. But I like the white ones, of course, because I'm like super anal retentive. But I do have some green ones too, which I don't totally mind, but I prefer the white, but that's all I could find. So I'm gonna use these because they're lighter weight and they'll be easier to carry in to a large, large building um, tomorrow morning. Usually I would use my glass, but I'm not gonna use that um, for tomorrow. So anyway, um, I'm gonna start cooking up the meat and then start cutting up a bunch of things and hopefully I don't cut my fingers. Okay, so food prep is all done. Um, I got my sack of trash. I always like to take out my garbage when I cook meat, especially ground meat, well, really any meat, to be honest, because it like smells so bad the next day if you like leave it in your garbage can. Plus, it's time to take out the trash anyways, but still, I just have like its own little sack. But anyway, before I show you what I have done, I totally forgot to show you all the other things I got at the dollar store. Um, I got some ribbon. I figured I would have this for um, Christmas and like gift wrapping and stuff. And then I got some green ribbon. Look at me, all the color. And these are like the gross green ribbon. And then this is like a, like a light ivory color. So I thought those would be nice for the holidays or really anytime. And, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have noticed that I was looking for some lowball glasses and look what I found. It's like a pentagon, is that what it is? Five, looks kind of like a star, which is like totally my design aesthetic. And these are like heavy, like super heavy, just a dollar. Um, I got all eight of them. There was only eight in my store that I went to, but I'm so excited about these and I'm gonna wash these up probably tonight. But um, that barcode's kind of ucky. Let me see. This is the barcode if you're interested. Hello. So you guys can screenshot that if you really want to. But 
I'm like super excited about these. I think these look really nice and I couldn't believe that these were a dollar. So I literally paid eight dollars for all eight of these glasses. So I'm excited. They're dishwasher safe and everything too because I double check that. Um, but yeah, they're like really substantial, very heavyweight. So that's what I got there. Oh, and then I also got a silver like serving thing. It's like plastic, but it's like a fork and a spoon because I figured I would use that for tomorrow. All right, so the piece de resistance, let me show you the foods that I made. So I already prepped everything. So the meat, this isn't all the meat, but this is part of the meat, is in this little container here. And it's just that ground turkey. And then I also put in some taco seasoning. So that's in there. Obviously this is some shredded lettuce. So I shredded up a head of lettuce right there. I've got my little tomatoes that I quartered up. This is top the tater with a little bit of the same taco seasoning packet. And then I've got two of these little guys. This is all the black olives. And then I also have some shredded cheese. I don't think to be completely honest, I'm going to need as much of this as I need. I know for sure I'm going to use all of this and I'll probably use all the cheese, but I don't know if I'm gonna use all the rest of the stuff, but we'll see. But yeah, that is the feast for tomorrow to make the taco dip. And you're probably wondering, well, how do you eat the taco dip? Well, you can eat it straight, like with a spoon if you really want to, but most people use it with like tortilla chips is what I bring with as a little vehicle to put it in the mouth. So yeah, but um, I have my little can whoop, right there of all of my turkey grease, which is disgusting, but I like siphon it out cause ew and no. So yeah, but that is like it for what's going on here currently. Um, it's pretty late and I still haven't eaten any dinner yet. So I think I need to figure that out now that I have like all of this stuff handled um i'm gonna throw all of that in the fridge and um get my chips actually i should grab my my chips let's see here i went to aldi and got the aldi brand white tortilla rounds so because who cares it all kind of tastes the same you know i wouldn't notice the difference um Maybe that's because I'm cheap, or maybe that's because I really don't notice the difference. Um, so yeah, and then I'm gonna put these in my little sack of things. Ta-da! Do you guys like my like wrapping extravaganza over here? This weekend, it is gonna be a holiday wrapping extravaganza in my home. Um, yeah, so you guys will see some of that. I don't really want to show like what I'm wrapping because a lot of the people that I'm buying or that I purchased for watch my videos. So I don't want to like spoil the surprise. Doyle. He just randomly sits like that. I don't really understand. I think he's sitting is so pretty because I was making all of that meat and I like gave him a little, little tiny bit of it, like a couple little tiny, tiny pieces that had kind of fallen out. So they weren't, um, they weren't seasoned or anything, but um, I think he's like sitting pretty so he'll get more, but it's like, dude, it's all seasoned and you're not getting any of it because I'm not picking it up. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, but anyway, getting back to the gifts, I really don't want to show the actual gifts, but there are a couple of things that are going to be in like nondescript boxes that I can probably show me wrapping. So maybe I'll do, I don't know, should I do like a dedicated video on it? I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments down below because I'm going to try, <sighs> it's pretty late already, but I'm going to try to get this up tonight if not tomorrow night at some point but my brother's coming tomorrow um so that will be fun so we can have like a bros giving tomorrow and uh yeah he's gonna i think have dinner over here he's staying the night tomorrow um but that'll be a good time i think he might even be coming into town tonight to be honest and i think he's staying over at Jackson's mom's house tonight. So then um, him and Jackson can spend the day tomorrow 
together uh, so he doesn't have to go to daycare so they can have a have some father son bonding time and then um, I think he's gonna wait until Jackson goes to bed tomorrow or like around dinner time or whatever and then come on over here and then we are going out to Thanksgiving at my dad's brother's house so my uncle's house but yeah, so that's what's going on here. Um, I think I need to like just pick up a bunch of crap because my brother's coming over. Not that he really cares. Um, so yeah, I need to get his room situated. I haven't really done that, which I should, but I can always do it tomorrow. It's not the biggest deal in the world. So I'm just like ultra procrastination station here. Maybe that's what this video should be called. Procrastinations giving. <laughs> I think I'm gonna title all my videos something's giving because I think it's funny. Um, you guys might think it's really stupid, but I think it's funny. Uh, but the things I think are funny are usually pretty dumb, so. Go figure, right? Go figure. Also, a fun thing happened today at work. I had, I don't really like to like talk about work, but it's, kind of work related, kind of not work related. The um, simple IRA representative came to the office today and I had a nice meeting with her and um, she sent me the link to figure out like funds and things like that. So I was researching funds kind of for the rest of the day after uh, we had had our conversation. So I'm excited to kind of get that started, talk to a couple of other um, coworkers about retirement because they were like eh, I know it's available but like I don't know what to do so we chatted about it and uh, two of the people that I work with are now going to start their IRA which is awesome and the company that I currently work for does a 3% match at 100% so like the employee only has to put in 3% and then the company will match the 3% but say if you want to put in like 9% the company will still only match 3% but which is kind of cool because it's like free money so um, I was kind of like explaining that to them and they just didn't really understand so I'm like maybe the IRA chick needs to like come back or something um, but I just think they had never really like thought about retirement um, I think one of them was a little bit younger than me maybe like 30 31 maybe and I think the other one was maybe around the same age uh, maybe a little bit older maybe by like two years or something maybe like 38 or something um, but yeah, I don't know, they just seemed like very overwhelmed by the whole thing, but it's, I don't know, it doesn't need to be overwhelming. It's just kind of like ask questions, you know? Like I had a lot of questions and I know, I think I know quite a bit about it for not being in the financial space at all, um, but I still had questions because I want to make sure that I'm putting my money in the right funds and the right things, so yeah oh but anyway i'm like super procrastinating here i think i need to do some things yeah yeah i just need to i just need to stop and do some things so i'm gonna eat i'm gonna have my dinner finally it's like really really late um i might just have like some cheese and crackers because that's just kind of like how i'm feeling um have some cheese and crackers and then like get my rumpus in gear maybe <laughs> Maybe not, we'll see. Um, and just like pick up a bunch of stuff. Just, I just need to pick up some stuff. It's like really boring. So I'm not gonna film that because it would take me like literally longer to set up the video camera and the tripod to show you what I'm doing in each room because there's kind of like a little bit of everything in every room. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm gonna close out the vlog here. Doyle, come here, come here, come here. Hey, there he is. <laughs> So let's say hello to the Doyle bug. Hi Doyle, hello Doyle. Um, update on the Christmas tree. It will probably happen this weekend sometime. I just can't get it done tonight and it's not gonna happen tomorrow either because bros giving is happening tomorrow. Um, so yeah, but that is what's going on and I am gonna say goodbye for tonight. So is the Doyle dog. You're gonna say goodbye to your friends, Doyle. They all missed you. Hey, why are you gonna look away, homeboy? He's looking that way because the food is that way and he doesn't realize he's not getting any. Oopsie.
You're so sassy. You're such a sass boy. Okay, all right, I'm getting distracted. I will see you guys in the next vlogs giving. Bye, guys.